I've heard that you like to touch people. Could you touch me anywhere? You can pull my coat, you can take off my hat. I've got a bag on my back that you can pull as well. These straps here. You can drag me along the floor for all I care. That'd be great. Tonight, I head inside an abandoned morgue alone. This morgue was part of Highroy's psychiatric hospital, which first opened its doors in 1888. Throughout its time, patients were subject to controversial treatments and surgeries. Many people died at Highroids, some of whom were buried in unmarked graves in the hospital cemetery. The most prolific serial killer of modern times, Harold Shipman, worked at this hospital as a student. Evidence also supports that Jimmy Savile abused multiple girls here. This hospital has the most horrific history out of any other hospital in the UK. The hospital closed in 2003 and the site has been redeveloped for residential use. The only part of the building left untouched is the morgue. infestation. Many of them up there. That's probably what I've just heard as I've come in. I know this is only a small place, but I mean it all on my own. And I've got two cameras. <laughs> I've tried to hold them both guys. Sorry if the camera works a bit shoddy tonight, but can't be out. In fact, I'm gonna place one down here. So I've heard some great things about this place. I've heard that something roams here. I can hear a lot of pigeons. If there is somebody else here with me, can you come towards me please? Pigeons. Maybe you could use your voice.
I've heard all sorts of things that you like to touch people. A child has also been heard laughing. Is that true? If it is, could you do that for me, please? That's a lot of pitching noise, guys. Was not great. As you can see. What's that? Some sort of toilet or something. Like I say, guys, there's a lot of pigeon noise. That seems to be an issue, as always. Now this, I'm gonna show you guys this. The morgue slab. Looks like it would have been here. As you can see, there's the drainage system there. Obviously, it's either been dam really damaged or taken out. See, the pigeon noise is quite loud. So, this location was given to me by Lee Craven. From Rhythm Decay, Urbex Rhythm Decay. And he said he's experienced some crazy stuff in here. Now, at the moment, it's very difficult because of these pigeons. That's, that's all I'm hearing at the moment. I might set up some equipment, go night vision, and let's just see if we can get anything that way. It's worth a shot. Right, guys, so I'm all set up. I've gone complete darkness. I've got a REM pod in the middle there with a stationary cam just at the bottom of the corridor. I've got a K2E on this morgue freezer. I'm just going to do a call out, guys, to see if we can get anything apart from the pigeons flapping about. Now, hopefully, because I've turned all the lights out, they'll calm down a little bit. I'm hoping so. I'm calling out for any spirits that are here with me tonight. Could you please come forward?
Make yourself known in any way you can. I'm here all alone. You'll see a red light in the middle of the room. Could you come towards that for me, please? It won't harm you. Can you show yourself to me? What's the pigeons again, guys? Okay, so I'm standing in this room. I don't know what this room would have been, but I'm here. Could you make any kind of sound for me, please? Could you walk towards me? That's pigeons. What about if I stand here? At the moment, the only noise I can hear in this building is from pigeons. So if you were to make a noise, it would have to be very distinctive. Could you close a door? Walk towards me. Make a noise with your voice, if that is possible.
that's you, could you make it louder? I heard something then, but I'm not too sure whether it was one of the pigeons. Which it's very possible it was, guys. I'm not going to lie. Like I say, it's a very small building, a very small morgue. Um, and when you've got four or five pigeons flapping about, it becomes very difficult. They're very hard to avoid, so... Could you show yourself to me, please? In this corridor here. It'd be great if you could. me on the REM pod. What about if I stand in this room? Can you do anything in this room for me? Anything at all? So many pigeons, guys. Well, there isn't so many pigeons. There's about five, but... They're just making so much noise. Would it be possible for you to show yourself in this doorway for me? Or knock on this door? Like I say, I've heard great things about this place. I know many people have been here. And you've made noises for them. I've traveled two hours. Which is quite a long way. Pigeons are going wild for some reason. I've traveled a long way to see you. That sounded like it could have been a dragging sound. But it also could have been one of the pigeon's wings against the wood. I'll have to listen to that one back. 
<laughs> it, it, it got me though, that did, it got me. If that was you, could you do it again, please? Just to confirm that it was you? That was possibly a car outside. Come on, please do something. Just to confirm. I've heard you like to throw things. Could you throw something? If you're definitely here, if you come to the center of this room, this red light will change colors and it'll let me know that you're definitely here. Well, it's a start. I am nervous guys, cause being on your own in these places, not good, but this is why I do it. If it means coming alone to get evidence, and so be it. And that's why I'm here. Pigeons. That's why I'm here. For the truth of what goes on inside this building. So could you show me the truth, please? If that was you knocking, could you knock again? Again, you know, the pigeons are up there on a beam, guys. And the beam is very close to the top of the roof, which is made out of wood, the inside of the roof. And the wings are hitting against it and making like a, like a dragging sound of noise. They're also shitting everywhere as well, which is dropping. So it's very difficult. It is very difficult because of these pigeons but I'm here to try my best I've traveled a long way to be here tonight like I say I've heard great things about this place and that's why I didn't hesitate to come here because that's what it's all about what about this green light could you come towards this green light please Again, it'll change colors, won't harm you. Or maybe, I know it's very heavy, maybe you can close this freezer door. Maybe you could knock on the inside to let me know that it's you. That'd be great.
I'm sorry if I sound so demanding. It's just that you've done things for other people. And I'd like you to do them for me, please. A simple loud knock would be great. That was strange. It sounded like a low thud right at the back there where I've got that other camera. It's going to go further in. Did I just hear a loud thud? Could you do that again, please? No, pigeons. Oh, goddamn pigeons. It's everywhere we go at the moment, guys. And it, honestly, b believe you me, it contaminates the investigation so much. I mean, natural noises of buildings are bad enough, but once you've walked around a building for so long and you hear those natural noises, you get used to them. With pigeons, because they're constantly moving around, the noises change and it just makes it so difficult to investigate. Which is very disappointing because, you know, I've traveled a long way to be here. I've heard great things about the place. Um, it's just very frustrating. I'd love some concrete evidence that you exist here. I know you don't have to. You know, that's up to you. But that's what I'm here for. And I'm very open to you, just so you know. I don't fully believe, but I would love to be able to walk away from here saying to everyone who watches, well, being able to show everyone who watches and also be able to tell my friends, other teams, that someone is here and they communicate. That would be great for me to be able to do that. But at this moment in time, I've only heard pigeons. Could you walk towards me, please? Let me hear your footsteps. So, the few noises that I've heard, even though I think it could be the pigeons, I've been down the bottom end here. Now, I have got the static cam down there, so I can listen back to those. That'll be interesting. Because as far as I'm aware, the pigeons are only in this middle section here where the skylight is. 
and that's how they've got in here, to be honest. Would, it, would you be able to close that drawer on the cupboard here? Or close the doors, move them? That would be great. I'm going to fetch this K2. Okay, so if you can see me, you'll know that I've just put that green light on top of that table, that cupboard. If it's possible, could you go towards that green light, please? It will only change color and make a slight beeping noise. It just lets me know that you're present here. I've heard that you like to touch people. Could you touch me anywhere? You can pull my coat, you can take off my hat. I've got a bag on my back that you can pull as well. These straps here. You can drag me along the floor for all I care. That'd be great. If you could do that, use my energy. Or just do anything you can, anything at all. Another quiet night, guys, I'm afraid. Such a shame. Like I say, we do travel a long way to these locations and it is very disappointing when we don't get any activity. But it's to be expected now. You know, we've been doing this for so long now, guys, that we literally don't expect anything at all. And when we do get something, we try as best to debunk it. And if we can't explain it, then we leave it up to his audience to decide for themselves. But yeah, I've literally had, that's a pigeon. I thought that was thumping. See how it sounds like thumping? Like dum, dum. Here it. That's the pigeon. I wish it wasn't. I wish it was somebody in here with me. And again, those noises can be, you know, misinterpreted as paranormal activity when it's actually just a pigeon. 
So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. It's been great to come out again. I always love coming out investigating, it's great. Just very disappointing when you've got high expectations for a place and don't get anything at all. Please don't forget to smash the like button, guys. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Good night.